To use a stem gem strawberry color, just simply depress the green button. Out comes the claw. And depending on the size of your strawberry, that's how much you will push out or kind of keep it in. In this case, it's a little bit larger, so we'll push it a little bit more. Put it around the stem. Let it naturally depress, twist, and you have a perfectly hulled strawberry. And just push out that button to get it right out. Let's do that one more time on a smaller one. Push the button, out comes the claw. Insert right into there as it naturally kind of pulls right in there. Twist, which is the most important part. Depress, let it go. And it's ready to fill it with chocolate or slice for the next step. When you're busy cooking, preparing woody stemmed herbs like rosemary and thyme can be really tedious. Not when you've got a zip strip. This handy little gadget removes herb leaves from their stems in a zip. To use, take your herb and put the base through the hole that is just slightly bigger than the stem. And then pull. The bowl at the bottom catches the herbs and it measures them at the same time. Let's try some time. Again, place the base of the herb in the hole that's just slightly bigger than the stem and pull. And you can see how easy it is. When you're done, place the zip strip on the top rack of your dishwasher for easy cleaning. The strawberry slicer is really fun to use. Just insert your pre-stemmed or de-stemmed strawberry right in there, push or face down because when you push down, it comes out with a little bit of force. So there you go, you get nicely sliced strawberries. Let's do that one more time. Put in here, be careful not to touch the blades in here as they are quite sharp. This side is dull, this side is sharp, so just a warning. And push that down and look at that. You are ready for strawberry shortcake or for that nice, lovely, icy daiquiri. You can put it in the top rack of the dishwasher or just rinse it underneath the water and you're done. The veggie chop is one of the most versatile tools in the chef in line. It's one of my personal favorites. It's great for chopping nuts as we're gonna do right now, to herbs, to doing salsa batches, guacamole, I mean, you name it, it does the trick. So you just take some nuts here, put it inside, take the lid, place it on top, make sure it's locked into place, and then you just turn this, pull a few times, and the amount of pulls that I do is how finely or coarsely chopped the nuts will be. So we'll just do a few more. Unlock, and within just a few pulls, look what we've done. So you can actually put it in here for storage if you'd like, or serving. And let's show one other thing we can do. A very popular item that the veggie chop is great for is onions. So let's just throw a couple in here and see how fast the veggie chop can whip these into shape. So once again, lock it into place. Just a few holes on the cord. And how many pulls was that? I wasn't counting, but look at this. Check it out. You could just throw some cilantro in there, tomatoes, you know, a little few spices, whatever you wanna do, you could make salsa right there, all in one batch. And if you don't wanna use it right now or you have a little excess, it comes with a handy lid. You just pop on top and just 
push down and you're ready to put this in the fridge for later.